no scaling it. So this is my newer store that I have that I'm um, working on right now. And with this store is a, I would say is a general store actually. So it's not really like a niche store, but more of a general store. And let me show you the results that I've got in the past 30 days. So as you can see today, I made 633, $36 in sales today. Um, let me refresh the page, show you this is, this is legit. There we go. And let me show you the last, I'll show you um actually last month, because this month is not really the end yet. So in September, we made about $12,000 in sales. And this month, October, we're just halfway through only we have two weeks left so I made about $8,000 almost $9,000 in sales from uh, what day is it today so from the first of 14 so only two weeks I generate about um, nine grand in two weeks in sales and how I got this sale is through a Facebook ad so I've been using Facebook ads and Instagram influencer so pretty much what I do let me show you my Facebook ads that how much I spend and how much I am gaining so as you can see, in the last seven days, I spent about $500 on ads, and in return, I got about 2500 in sales. And let me show you for the last 30 days. Um, I spent about, so the last month, I spent about $2,000 on ads, and in return, I have about $9,000 in purchases. So that's, that's pretty accurate with Shopify 8800. It, yeah, it's pretty accurate with profile because sometimes <clears throat> Facebook um, pixel doesn't fire sometimes, so it's not that accurate, but it's it gives you more information, so you tells you which ads the best and which is not. So I want to hey, so I'll show you guys um, the method that I use for Facebook ads, the scaling techniques for me to generate this income on the store that I showed you, and it's actually pretty simple. Um, let me open up Paint and I'll show you. The chart. I'm gonna make a chart for you guys, so make sure that uh, you guys know how I did it. So for your ad, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have an audience to sell your product to. Don't just guess a product and try to sell it. It's not gonna work unless you have the targeting right. Um, for Shopify and Facebook ads, 80% of this um, business is Facebook ads or other like Instagram or Twitter. But mostly, I do Facebook ads and. You have to find a target. Without a target, you won't get much sales or you won't even sell your products at all. So the targeting is important key. I would use audience insight on Facebook to research your audience and make sure that you know you have the right audience for the right product. Because if you get your product in front of the right people, most likely they're gonna buy it. And that's the truth. So I just start. So the first thing you start with is I would spend five dollars a day. I was spent five dollars a day on a PPE, a post page engagement. So you want to get likes, shares, and stuff like that. So you know that people are engaging with your ad and the product is looking good, and they might buy it. So for your ad placement, you want to make sure you have the image of your product, and for the um, comments, say that this product's on sale and then say tag your friends and share something like that so you need a call to action button on your, on your or any call to action on your post that will get your um, audience to engage so if they like it their friends might see it if they share it their friends might see it so every share you might get 30, 100, 200 more viewers that most likely want to buy it so I spent $5 a day for about 35 days just to collect data just to see just to see if you get any sales And for this, I I'll only do mobile for this one. I'll only do do mobile phone for this one because mostly, most of these Shopify dropshipper or Facebook ads, you know that ninety percent of their sales comes from face come from a mobile. So I'll do mobile. I won't worry about desktop for now. So let me just put a box around this. Whoops. So. You first add five dollars a day PPE, three to five days, collect data. The data you want to look at is your purchases, add a cart, 
and initial checkout. So let's say in the five days you get, you know, three to seven sales or you get a positive ROI. And you know that that ad is making you money. What you want to do is duplicate this ad. Don't change the budget because you think that, okay, you more sales done because it will screw up your optimization. So from this point on, you would duplicate it. Make the exact same ad, but the only difference this time is the budget. So we know that the $5 a day makes you money, sales. What I would do is I'd put $20 a day for three to five days. And it's going to be mobile too. So now you have two asset running. Don't close this ad because it's making you money. You might as well keep it on to make more money. So there you go. So you have two ads running. The first ad, PPE. If you get your sales, you can duplicate it and make it a higher budget. Exact same thing, just a different budget. And let it run for a few days. Let it optimize for a few days. And if you don't get sales, I always turn it off. But if you if you do get sales, what I would do is so this one is PPE actually. So if you get sales from this, what from this twenty dollars a day, what I would do at the same time when I create this twenty dollars a day, I would uh create a a web to conversion. So a website conversion on your post. So I would create three things. I'll create the add a cart, I'll create the purchases and view content. And the same thing, I would do five dollars a day. I do five dollars a day just to test to see data and see which one works the best. And people always ask me, hey Kevin, which objective is the best? Add a cart purchases or view content. My advice, try all. Everyone is different and everyone has different results and it's not just based on one person assumption to think that hey purchases is the best. You know, it can be the best, but you have to test it yourself. You can't just assume things. With marketing with marketing and Facebook ads, you have to test. You can't just assume things, you know? So there you go. Let's say um let me put arrows. So let's say the West conversion makes you money. Let's say the other cart makes you a positive ROI. You're making money from it. I would duplicate this five dollars a day to a higher value. So it'd be the same out of cart. This one's a website conversion. Website conversion out of cart. I will do fifty dollars a day because I know that I'm making positive ROI, so I might as well go high. Do five dollars a day for that. And let's say the purchasing view content is not that well, so I'll close these ones and I'll run the five dollars a day. close the five dollars day and I would whatever ads working don't don't close it just keep it on because it's making you money don't even touch it just leave it and once you make your duplicate of add a cart fifty dollars a day and let's say this is making you a lot of sales you can pause ROI what I would do is I will create another ad set but this time it's for desktop and I would do ten dollars a day for uh, desktop, the exact same one, the exact same one, the exact same objective at a cart was a conversion. So, let me just add a box. Okay. So, if this desktop conversion is getting you a positive ROI return investment, I would duplicate it. I would duplicate it again. And increase the value to fifty dollars a day with desktop out of cart. And at this point, your um, your mobile one for what's con conversion out of cart. If that's you know, if you're getting sales, because sometimes your audience will run out, and you will start getting less sales. So maybe at this point, maybe when you have around fifty to hundred purchases. I would create a thing called look like audience. So Facebook will grab your data you have and look for audience or alike who made your purchases based on this out of cart. So what I would do is I would create a new ad, but this time it's gonna be a um, look like audience. Make a look alike audience one percent. So it grabs. Um, 
may get you about a million to two million viewers for your ad. And this local audience will make Facebook find the audience that are most likely to buy your product based on your data. And it's pretty accurate. So you will get sales from this when you make a look like an audience. And from this, this is how I use this method to make um, over five figures a month for my stores that I have. So this is what I do, exact system. Let me go over again. So day one, start a PPE, five dollars a day, target a whole bunch of groups that you research. You can group them together if you like. Target all the ages. And then at this point, when you start getting sales or you see pause ROI, I would duplicate the exact same PPE ad to $20 to three or five days, but this time do the age groups that are getting you sales. I didn't say that before, but do when you duplicate it, change the budget and change the age group. Do um you can look at your statistics on your five dollars a day to see which age group buys your product and target those guys with the twenty dollars a day. And at this point if you're getting pause ROI in sales, I would duplicate this ad to a website conversion. Split three, three of these, five dollars a day for out of cart purchases and good content. Test these three for five days for five dollars a day. And if you get sales for one of these or pause ROI for any of these, I would scale these ones. So I close, I would pause the ad as not making me money, losing me money. Then I would duplicate the website conversion ad for fifty dollars a day to the same audience size and same age group and this should get you a lot of sales and once your sales runs out or you went through your whole audience quickly I will create a look like an audience based on this, the people who purchase based on those guys so Facebook will find audience who are most likely to purchase your product and this will get you it will skyrocket your business and your sales to 10 times actually and then when you make your watch conversion ad for for um, the mobile and if it's getting past ROI, you have two options. You can move on to look like audience, or you can pretty much just make a new ad, ten dollars a day for desktop. Test desktop ad, to test the desktop, and see get sales. And if you do get sales, increase the budget to fifty dollars a day. And this is how I do my testing for my ads. It's really really not that in depth, but I have some free time right now, so I want to sh show you guys what I how I did it with making an almost a six figure hopefully by the end of the year I guess six figure income but you know this is how I did it with my Facebook ads and also you can also buy um, Instagram influencer paying people with followers and promoting your product you know it's, uh, it's the exact same way but you know I like Facebook ads better because it's it has more audience and it's a bit more accurate with targeting so you have any questions please leave them below I'll, answer, I'll try to answer all of them uh, you know, just, this is just a quick update on a case study that I have that one of my stores that I've done over 10k a month for my test store and I'm going to end this video right now and oh yeah, I guess no, I forgot to tell you guys I'm making a course, a free course coming soon in um, January or early 2017th and also I'll be, I'll be doing mentoring coaching if you like just give me a message below, let me know if you guys are interested and hope this provided value for you guys how to scale your ads and what I did to scale my ads and I want to say thanks for watching and thanks for supporting me and I want to say thank you for a thousand subscribers that's amazing I just you know I didn't think that I'd get that much subscribers I was making videos I want to help at least one pe person out and and it turns out help more than a thousand people and I'm really really blessed it's the best currency to have an effect on other people's lives and I want to you know help people um, get this financially free with their lives and do the things that they love and the true purpose of life they are doing and you know and I want to thank you guys for subscribing and also make sure you subscribe to my channel and like my video and also visit my blog not a job income .com. I also have a Facebook group I'll leave all the links below um, I have a Facebook group where you can join we'll, you can ask questions we'll help each other we're just like minded people trying to succeed the same goal and my Facebook group is growing pretty big. We have about 200 members now, so if you want to join, feel free.